you know, how do we do a podcast? How do we teach science? How do we make it look cool? Fun. But yeah, make it look fun, but yeah. also have, a, have the right tone. And uh, I had met Mike Blayback at um, a, actually a backyard party at Jacob's. Hmm. And um, our, our first interaction was kind of interesting. Um, I don't think he'd mind if I say this, sorry, Mike, uh, in advance. But I met him, I was like, oh yeah, playback, playback photo. I'm like, of course, you know, and, um, and Mike is a Midwest guy. I know you guys just have, he's like, he's like, I have a question. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, I think I need to get in shape. And at the time he was carrying like an extra 50 or 60 pounds mm -hmm. of weight, not to embarrass you, Mike, but you had what he called himself a pile. So <laughs> you were not a pile. You're still vertical, but See, right. And, um, and then he said, uh, yeah, you know, I just don't feel good, you know, smoking too much, drinking mm -hmm. too much. I just don't feel good. And people ask me this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. Like, what do I do? How do I sleep better? How do I stop stressing? And usually I find that people are not serious, meaning they, they want an answer, but they don't want to do the work. Right. Yeah. right. So I was like, look, it's really simple. Can you not eat until 2 PM? Mm. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm like, great. Drink coffee, drink water. And in the morning, get up and just get on either run or get on some exercise bike and just pedal like someone's chasing you with a syringe full of poison. Right in the morning after when you wake up. Yeah. Or, you know, after a few minutes, okay. you know, give okay. yourself some time, <laughs> go to the bathroom. I mean, I mean, that, so no, you're no, serious. I yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, well, I have questions yeah. about this Early because day. I'm yeah. the opposite, right? Yeah. I, I, I find it hard for me to gain weight and stuff like that. So please continue right. though. I got a, this question yeah. after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, and... The reason I felt any, uh, you know, uh, sense of agency in giving this information is, yeah, I've done a bunch of different things in neuroscience related to vision and neuroplasticity and stress, but I, I've done some work and continue to do some work with special operations and some of these groups that are interested in how you use biology to improve human performance mm -hmm. over long periods of time. Okay. So, you know, basketball players, you know, yes, military, yes. you know, these kinds of things. Um, and so there's a pretty straightforward formula where when you've been asleep all night, your fuel reserves, like you've got fuel in your fat. Well, you, you guys don't have any of that, but you got fuel in your fat, you've got fuel in your muscles that can mm -hmm. be burned and you've got fuel in your liver, it's called glycogen. And mm -hmm. when you wake up early, all of that is as low as it's gonna be because you haven't been eating anything. Got you. And so if you exercise then, your body starts dropping into your body fat stores quicker. So what I was trying to give Mike was a, was a tool that would allow him to see some results really quickly. Oh. So I said, look, do it fasted mm -hmm. and then continue to hydrate and then eat your first meal in the afternoon. And I said, and also, it, you know, do you like drinking? And he was like, well, I don't know. I drink mostly cause it kind of sets me straight up here. And I was like, well, we can talk about the stuff to kind of set your head level. I mean, he wasn't spun out. He just obviously was medicating with alcohol. Sure. Um, and not in a severe way cause he's fully fun. He's an amazing photographer, yeah, raised two kids. Yeah. And so I sure, want to be sure. clear about what we're talking about here. Yeah. Um, I didn't detect anything dysfunctional about him. He was just reporting to me that he wanted some assistance. Right. So I said, you know, would you be willing to drop the drinking or, or you know, pair it back? Yeah. And he said, sure. So, okay, so explain that. And I said, look, and you know, here's my number just um, for the anxiety and stress management, uh, I'll give you some breathing, some respiration tools that work really well mm -hmm. that are not, you know, woo mysticism. Yeah. It's not, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to meditate 30 minutes a day, although that's a cool practice too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you some tools you can use in real time as you're working hard and okay. dealing with whatever it is you're dealing with in life. Okay, so that ends, the conversation ends, you know, and um, Greg Hunt was there too, okay. I knew from growing yeah. up. Yeah. Um, talked to Greg a little bit. And then a year later, Mike reach out, reaches out and says, hey man, thanks for all that stuff you gave me. I was like, oh, cool. And he's like, I lost 60 pounds and I <laughs> haven't had a sip of alcohol since we talked last wow. and feeling pretty good. Damn. And I was like, so how did you do it? He's like, well, I get on the bike and I pedal as hard as I can. And like someone chasing me with a <laughs> syringe full of poison. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, he remembered. Yeah. You know, and I was so impressed. Like very few people can just take the, the menu and just do it. Go. Right. Right. And maybe it's his Midwest upbringing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did get gifted a, AK rifle for his ninth birthday, living in Ohio Jeez, growing up. I mean, okay. that, I mean, Mike's, okay. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but some people yeah. also, I feel like reach that point in their life where they're like, it's time. This yeah. is a, right. whether it's smoking yeah. or drinking, like they, you can't quit smoking unless you're mentally prepared to, right? It's like, there's that, that, that switch. Look, I always say 
The beauty of being young is that neuroplasticity, your nervous system's ability to change mm -hmm. in response to experience to learn things mm -hmm. is at its absolute peak. Mm -hmm. However, you don't have that much control over your life when you're young, right? especially when you're really young. As you get older, it gets harder to change your nervous system, but you can do it. Mm -hmm. But the advantage you have is that you can direct exactly what changes you want to happen. Mm. And so there are two different ways to change your nervous system, depending on whether or not you're younger or you're older. And it's not like the gate drops right at 25. Okay. It just tapers off. But Mike made the decision. And I always say, you, you, if somebody is an adult, you can't change their mind. Right. You literally can't. They have to make the decision to do that. And he flipped the switch. He flipped it. He flipped it and he's still there. And um, I think he feels much better yeah. physically. And then, and I feel guilty for this, but then I started getting him really hyped about all this stuff. I was like, oh, there's, I started sending him athletic greens. I was like, yeah, drink yeah, athletic yeah, greens yeah. and, and uh, check this shit. out. You know, you can, uh, uh, I have a, one of those barrel saunas. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I like just like sweating all that out. Mm -hmm. And it, when you sit in the sauna, your heart beats mm. and, your, and your vessels dilate. So it's a little bit like, exercise, which most skateboarders don't need because they're really active. Got you. But as you get older, you want to keep all the plumbing working really yeah. well. So I was like, I'm going to send you a sauna. I'm going to send you a cold dunk. Cause I got, you know who the Iceman Wim Hof is? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Yeah. So in 2016, I heard about this guy, Wim Hof, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. bought a plane ticket, went to Spain and just started hanging out with Wim and doing wow. crazy breathing and ice bath stuff. Wim's down just to kick it? Yeah, Wim should get, we get Wim here. Okay, let's wow. do it. We'll do yeah. some breathing yeah. exercises. Strongest human being I've ever met. Sure, guy, sure. We were hiking in the Pyrenees, French Pyrenees, uh, mm -hmm. excuse me, Spanish Pyrenees. We were in Spain. And there was a cliff. We get to the top of this cliff that we never should have climbed in the first place. And he went to the edge and did a one arm planche. The guy's like 60 years old. One arm planche hanging out over what? the valley. Man. And then, you know, literally like this. And then just kind of pops back on. And his daughter <laughs> was like, that makes me so nervous oh my every yeah. time he does it. But he's figured out how to use adrenaline, mm -hmm. which generally makes you kind of shaky, like stress when you're shaking that's because adrenaline is trying to get you to move what wim understands is that under those circumstances the last thing you want to do is to try and stay still when you're stressed you need to do something with your breathing or with your body in order to funnel that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i think um skateboarders understand this too i mean you look at the kid who's like trying to drop in on virgins up there for a half an hour it's the worst i mean yeah. it's just it's the worst to watch but it's all <laughs> yeah <laughs> I think but there everybody's was, rooting him for him. Yeah. You know? well, did, wasn't there that, that one video of a dad pushed his kid in and then I think got went to jail? Really? For, for I don't remember that. Really? really? Yeah. Danger yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Danger because he pushed him in. It yeah. didn't, yeah, it didn't work out. Well, you yeah. know, he can't yeah, push somebody. Well, you my first him? drop in on Vert, I had no choice. That guy, Gary Hall, because mm. Gary Hall, the guy from my lab, growing up, he ran the skateboard shop in Palo Alto. And it was old school rules. So we went to Page Mill Ramp, Mike McIntyre's ramp. It was, you guys probably, no, anyway, no, no, no. it was off Page Mill Road. There are a bunch of old, old photos of Bones Brigade types on there. And I put my tail down and Gary said, I'm gonna ride back and forth across the deck twice. And the third time I'm pushing you in. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I dropped oh, in the first wow. time. You had to, you had to get, uh, he was coming at me. I yeah, just yeah, went yeah, in to yeah, avoid yeah. getting yeah. pushed in. It's a true ramp And I keeper. think that's actually the, the way to do it. Yeah. 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 Well, you got it like a Band-Aid. Rip, Rip it off, yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, Take the ride. Going yeah. back to the Blayback thing and him losing weight, because he, he did tell the story when he came here off camera. He was like, yeah, I did this whole thing and blah, blah, blah. I mean, Mike looks great nowadays. I looks mean, not that he didn't, yeah. you know, and years sleep, ago. But... He's done all this stuff to work on his sleep yeah. also. I always say, and we can talk about these tools, like the, if you want a better life in any way, mentally, physically, mm -hmm. let's say you're already killing it. You want to do even better sleep. The, the way, and you can get better at sleeping. Yeah, that's my, I, I have a problem. I, I go through spurts and I'm sure everybody does with yeah, sleeping well. issues For and sure. stuff like that. And you know, there's all kind of types of things, but in my case, there's a, like I, I'm skinny. I guess my metabolism, my mom's skinny, my dad's skinny, like just in, good my, in my nature. If you had to pick. Right. If I yeah. had to pick, for sure. Especially but for skateboarding. I'd love to, you know, 10 pounds, 15 pounds, but there's all this stuff really? out you there. Want to put on 10 I would love to. Yeah. Of, of solid weight. Just anything, yeah. Just anything, yeah. In my ass, <laughs> even just yeah. in my ass, <laughs> whatever. Even yeah. just a little yeah. pocket of fat. Yeah. 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 One, butt, yeah. if one butt cheek was ten pounds. I'd be, I'd be content. No, but I'm local lately. We can get ten pounds of you of solid that of solid mass okay. that will help you skateboard better. That's in 
two months. The, okay, hey, I'll, I'm, that, I'm down yeah, for the yeah, challenge. Yeah. I'm down for the challenge. He's been trying to do this for. He's been saying this for a long time. Well, listen, I bought a pull-up bar. I did all. But here's the thing: <laughs> there is. You so bought it, or you, did you actually pull up, or you just bought the? I got bar. to like maybe five, and then I put it in the closet. But that's beside the point, though. Um, <laughs> you carry it around. It's there's about so much. I got it in the closet. Yeah, 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 yeah it's in the closet. But it, but there's so much information about losing weight, right? right and to right. gain weight, right. it's a whole. You know, we right. talked to Nick Dompierre. Oh, eat this, do this, breakfast. You know, this, that, and the other. Is he into to fitness? Fitness. Or something? He's very fitness. Is he a big yes. dude. Big dude. Yeah, yeah. works no, out. Fun. It's always weird to me when when skateboarders work out. Mm -hmm. I'm not. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving him a hard time. Obviously, you know, I. Oh, he's not, killing it though. I mean, yeah. I enjoy. I figured out pretty early on for whatever reason, didn't have the pop for skateboarding mm -hmm. in my legs at that age, but I mean, I can look at a weight and I grow. Yeah, there must be some genetic thing. It's gotta be some myostatin gene or one of these genes that controls cell growth. Okay. Um, but I, for the longest time, I always thought, you know, the worst thing you can be in skateboarding is muscular. Like that, you don't want that. That's ridiculous. I remember seeing Sluggo the first time. If you have a head the size of Sluggos, yeah, yeah. then you can be a big dude, sure, right? Sure. But if you're big and you don't have the big dome, yeah, I got a small yeah. head. You know, well, so I got I got it. Needs we'll, to... we'll distribute it evenly. Okay, okay. But yeah. I remember Jacob got into working out, yeah, because uh, Jacob had some extra weight and he started pedaling like a maniac. Mm -hmm. I said the pedaling is is great on the bike and everything, but you know you do want to do resistance training because also old guys start complaining about their back. I'm very mm -hmm. proud of the fact that my back is is solid, mostly because you have to do certain things for your back. So we go to the gym and I think it was somewhere here in LA. I walk through and see Brendan Beeble. Yeah. Is that yeah, how you yeah, yeah, his yeah, last yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. enormous. Yeah. Yeah. Dude turned sideways like this thick. Totally. Yeah, big so dude. I was like, whoa, well, he's, he's still skateboard he's, like he's this? Made a, he's made a change. Can he's you definitely. skateboard yeah. that way? He, he was, was doing it for a he was, but he wasn't working he wasn't out how he big. was now. Yeah. Right, right. And right, it was right. starting to look a little bit different, you know, because yeah. like he, when you start skating like this, it's just like you're, but you could tell he was getting more out of skating and into that. Yes. Right. Hey, look, right. when yeah. people are doing something in the direction of their health, mm -hmm. I'm a fan. Yeah. I mean, I'm also just a Brendan Beeble skateboarding he's fan, crazy, right? Yeah. It's amazing. So from Sacto, sick. right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. The, the Sacto scene was always oh, kind of crazy. Stephon there was a Janowski. guy from up there, Jeff Toland. Do you guys remember that? I know. Right. Right. A couple, he like five, well. five people who listen to this Roger, podcast. Roger. Who do you yeah. write for? He wrote for Think as well. Think? Yeah. Okay. Five people listen to this podcast would be like, oh yeah, Jeff Toland. But the Sacto scene always had um, some really hard players. Mm -hmm. Like they just dug in deep on everything. And Still, also the Far East Bays yeah. guys, like the Wade Spire and all the guys oh, out from, yeah. all the places where it's boiling hot. Yeah, yeah. 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 But in any case, uh, you know, Beeble, I saw him there, I was like, dude's big. And that's when I realized, you know, skateboarders are hitting that age mm -hmm. where they have this question, do they start taking care of themselves mm -hmm. or not? Right. And, you know, I think it, no matter who you are, it, it's probably not a good idea to be really large. It's actually any large animal lives less long hmm. than the smaller version of that same animal. Okay. So in the animal kingdom, little animals like honeybees survive. And, 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 and well, and um, hummingbirds and honeybees, they have short life compared to like whales. Sure, sure. But within a species, like you yeah. look at dogs, uh -huh. Great Danes have a short life, yeah. Yeah. a little Shih Tzu or whatever that, I, no disrespect yeah, yeah. to the Shih Tzu, <laughs> but you know, and the yeah. Shih Tzus. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Shih I think that is the yeah. current <laughs> pronunciation. Know. They have a uh, much longer life. Ah. And it's because of the dosing of this one gene called insulin growth factor. Okay. So uh, Andre the Giant died young. Mm. Uh, people that have acromegaly, you know, the, the forehead yes. ridge and the huge Big. hands, they don't live very long mm -hmm. because right. all their organs are huge. And they're make, they're, they have to produce a lot of yeah. stuff to keep the body running, yeah. right? Most everything that extends your life yeah. has to do with keeping a lighter weight. Okay. You okay. are very likely to live longer well, thank you. than most people okay. because of, okay. of being slightly, for in your words, underweight. Right. Um, now, there's nothing wrong I, with putting on a little bit of extra muscle if you want to be stronger for whatever reason. Yeah. But when you get past a certain point, it does shorten your life. There's right. no question right. about it because it's like mm -hmm. a second puberty. Yeah. Right. And the fastest rate of aging that you will ever go through at any stage mm -hmm. is puberty. Underweight is a, is, a, is a wrong word. I think for me, it's more about like, I just feel skinny, right? I feel uncomfortable sometimes but you look because right, I'm- But you look right. 
I, like you I look, look right. Like you can tell if somebody's the, the right size. Okay. Right. You don't yeah, look yeah, unhealthy yeah, yeah, yeah. or anything. No, yeah, right? I, mean, right. I don't feel from, unhealthy. We're not far from Gold's Gym, right? Right. And there you'll see guys that they look right, even though they're huge. Yeah. And then other guys, it looks like a little head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wanna, <laughs> you know, I want to avoid that. Like, yeah. A little head that. on wide shoulders right. is always right. bad. I would love to see that with Chris though. But yeah, let's not get Little head. We don't need extreme. Yeah. No, no. Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah it's on your it's on my left right? no on, left. on your left hey yeah hit right that there. button right there right there right there yeah, please. The, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there it's like we're kind of like oh it's there. like right here kind of like yeah, right there I mean, the subscribes like over to the left <laughs> it's like right over there <laughs> all right.